Hey everybody, in this video we're going to create a weight conversion program to convert a weight from pounds to kilograms or vice versa. It will help us become more familiar with if statements. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started everybody. What might be helpful to you as a beginner when creating a project is to use comments to describe what you want to do at each part of your program. This is also known as pseudocode. For example, the first thing we'll do is declare our variables. Declare variables. Then we'll create a welcome message. Then a prompt for user input. Prompt for user input or choice. We'll say option one, convert LBS, meaning pounds, to KGS, kilograms. Option two, convert KGS to LBS. If somebody doesn't select option one or two, we'll use an else statement. Else print not a valid choice. So here's a rough outline of our program and what it's going to do. We'll begin at the top. We'll declare any variables that we'll need. So we will need a scanner. We'll create a scanner object. Scanner scanner equals new scanner. Then type system.in within the set of parentheses. If you hover over the word scanner, you can import it automatically import java.util.scanner, or otherwise you can type it in. What are some other variables we'll need? Double weight for the original weight, double new weight, that's after we convert the weight, we'll need to store it, and int choice. A user is going to type in one to convert pounds to kilograms, or two to convert kilograms to pounds. We have our variables, now we need a welcome message. I'll use a few print statements. Let's say weight conversion program. One colon space. This means option one, convert LBS meaning pounds to KGS kilograms or choice two. 2 colon space, convert kilograms to pounds, LBS. Then we'll prompt for a user's choice. I'll use print instead of print line. Choose an option. Then we'll need to store that choice. So variable choice equals use our scanner to accept user input. We're accepting an integer. We'll use next int. Let's do a test run, and I will print our choice temporarily. Weight conversion program, one, to convert pounds to kilograms, or two, to convert kilograms to pounds. I'll type in one, we get one, or two. Then we output two. We can delete this print line statement. We were just checking to see if it works. Okay, option one. If somebody selects option one, we have to convert pounds to kilograms. Well, we'll need to check to see if choice is one. We can use an if statement for that. If choice is equal to one, be sure you use double equals. That is the comparison operator. We're checking if these two values are equal. If you use a single equals, that is the assignment operator, and Java thinks you're trying to assign one to choice. So double equals for comparisons. We're converting pounds to kilograms. We'll ask a user to enter the weight in LBS. I'll use print instead of print line. We will assign our weight equals use our scanner, then use the next double method, then we will accept a double value. So once we have our weight, we have to convert it to kilograms because it's currently in pounds. We will assign our new weight equal to the weight, our current weight that is, times 0 0.453592. Then we'll output the new weight. The new weight 
in KGS is, then we'll add our new weight. Okay, let's perform a test run. We'll type in one to convert pounds to kilograms. Enter the weight in pounds. What's 150 pounds converted to kilograms? 68.0388. If you would like to limit the amount of digits that display after the decimal, you can use a printf statement instead of print line. So to do that, we'll convert this to printf. Where we would like to insert a value or variable, we'll use percent. Since we're displaying a double, we'll use f, meaning floating point number. To display two digits after the decimal, we'll use 0.2 or 0.1 to display one digit, depending on your preference. Replace the plus with a comma. We're inserting this variable at this location, this placeholder. Let's perform that again. Choose an option, convert pounds to kilograms. Enter the weight in pounds. 150 is good. The new weight in kilograms is 68.04 kilograms. Now, if choice equals two, we're going to convert kilograms to pounds. And really, we can just copy this if statement, paste it, then convert it. Else if choice equals 2, the user wants to convert kilograms to pounds. Enter the weight in kilograms. The new formula is going to be at weight times 2.20462. The new weight in pounds, LBS, is our new weight. Let's try it. Choose an option. We will convert kilograms to pounds. I'm going to press 2. Enter the weight in kilograms. Let's say 68 kilograms. The new weight in pounds is 149.91 pounds. What if somebody types in a number that's not valid? So we can get rid of this comment is use an else statement to print that the user didn't select a valid choice. We will follow this with an else statement. We will follow else if with an else statement. Else print that was not a valid choice. We have options one or two. If I type in three, we execute the else statement. That was not a valid choice. And again, like usual, I'm forgetting to close my scanner because I sometimes forget to do that. So at the end of your program, close your scanner. Scanner.close. Because you don't want to leave resources open. Okay, let's do one final test run. Let's convert pounds to kilograms. What's 200 pounds converted to kilograms? 90.72. All right, everybody. So that is a weight conversion program you can write using Java.